Hello guys, welcome to Dr. Annex channel. We are going to cover a great issue today for dog lovers. Please subscribe and put a thumbs up if you like the content. Let's go. How to groom a dog. Regular grooming keeps your dog clean, healthy, and comfortable. Many people prefer professional groomers, they can make dogs look great while using their professional expertise to keep them safe. However, if you don't have one available in your area or just want to save some money, you can give your dog a basic grooming at home. Gather your grooming materials. You don't want to be looking for your tools once you begin grooming your dog. Make sure to have everything you need in one place before you begin the task at hand. Consult the things you'll need section below to find out what you'll need to groom your dog. About your dog first. Combing your dog's coat daily or every other day will keep most mats at bay. Simply brushing, as most literature instructs, is not enough for dogs that can mat up, the brush will easily pass over at angles that a comb will get stuck on. A thorough combing should always be the first step of the grooming process because any mats will become tighter and less manageable once they dry. Begin on the head and move down the body. Be careful under the belly, as it is a sensitive area, and don't forget to comb the tail. Give the dog breaks as needed. You don't want the dog to get overwhelmed, any negative associations can make grooming harder in the future. Make the experience fun by giving your pet breaks from time to time, giving praise, treats, pets, and even a little bit of play. This will also keep your dog distracted. Cut out mats that can't be brushed out. Severe matting can pull the skin every time the dog moves, making daily life painful for your pet. If you can't brush a mat out, you need to either cut or shave it off depending on how close it is to the skin. Be extremely careful if you use scissors to avoid injuring yourself or your pet. Try to cut parallel to the growth of the hair to avoid a choppy look. Clear the dog's eyes. White-haired breeds or those with large eyes that water a lot Pekingese, Pugs, Pomeranians, may need more maintenance in this area than others. Depending on your particular dog, this step may be a simple matter of wiping or pulling eye debris away from the corners of the eyes. Long-haired or white-haired dogs may need special attention to make sure that all gunk is out of the coat, as they may get tear stains. You can buy products made for removing tear stains from a white coat at a pet supply store. Clean your dog's ears, it's normal for a clean ear to have some wax in it, but there shouldn't be any particular smell to it. To clean your dog's ears, apply some ear cleaning solution, bought at a pet supply store, to a cotton round. Not too much or it will drip into the ear while wiping. Wipe dirt and wax away from the inner ear, but don't rub vigorously, as this might cause sores. Don't push too far into the ear, either. If your dog has drop ears like a basset hound, wipe the inside of the ear flag as dirt collects there as well. The groomer's rule of thumb is to clean only what you can see. Brush the dog's teeth. Ideally, brushing your dog's teeth every day with dog toothpaste is the route to healthy teeth and gums. Use dog toothpaste instead of human products, so you don't poison your dog with fluoride. If there is any chance that you may get bitten by your dog, do not attempt to brush your pet's teeth. At any point, if the dog gets overwhelmed, give him a break to calm down. Clip the dog's nails. If left untrimmed, a dog's nails can curl under into the paw pads or twist toes in a way that causes joint damage. To keep your dog's nails short, clip them regularly, depending on how fast his nails grow. If you can hear his nails on the ground when he walks, that means his nails are touching the ground, and are too long. Place a non-slip surface on the bottom of the tub. You know from experience that the tub can get slippery once it gets soapy. To prevent your dog from slipping, place a towel or non-slip bath mat in the tub. Run shower with lukewarm water. Hot water can harm your dog's skin, especially if your dog is short-haired. Avoid running water right away on the dog, as it may cause unnecessary stress and burns if starts out hot without checking first. 
you may have to spend some time desensitizing your dog to the sound of running water with the help of his favorite treats. Always go slowly to avoid overwhelming your pet and making things worse for both of you. If you only have a tub and no shower. Use a hose outside as filling a tub with water or only have a cup to run over the dog with water will not penetrate the fur or completely rinse off shampoo properly which causes infection as well as dry skin if completely soaked in water. This is true for even short-haired dogs like pit bulls, you don't need the high power setting of any hose only enough to not hurt or stress the dog but still gets the job done. Shampoo the dog. Begin at the neck and move downward toward the rear and legs, using your fingers to spread the shampoo and work it in down to the skin. Save the head for last, and don't use soap around the ears and eyes, unless you have tearless shampoo meant for dogs. Instead, use a wet towel or washcloth to clean the head. Rinse your dog thoroughly. As long as you see dirt or soap bubbles in the water coming off of an area, keep rinsing. You can use the same method you used to soak the dog's coat before shampooing. If your dog is too afraid of running water or the bath in general and can't be done on your own, there are veterinarians who can give proper sedation, not too much. To allow you to groom in a couple of hours or can groom the dog themselves. Touch the dog all over to feel for any shampoo especially the chest area and in between the legs, they are hard to get. To test it, rub the fur in between your fingers and pull softly, if it feels squeaky then it's clean. Dry your dog. Use a squeegee or use your hand as a squeegee to force water off of the coat and body. Towel dry him as best as you can while he's still in the tub, so you don't make a mess. Place the towel over your dog's back or hold it next to him and give permission to shake the water off their body. Many dogs will learn the bath rules and wait to shake until you have placed the towel over them to contain the water droplets. Another type of towel to use is a chamois, which is a thin fleece-like towel that is designed to be wrung out when wet. It lessens the number of towels needed and does the bulk of the work. Using a chamois, then a towel makes drying less of a hassle. Blow dry the dog if necessary. If towel drying won't cut it, blow drying can dry the coat without overheating or over drying your dog. If you have a dog with especially long hair, you may need to dry the coat while brushing it. Towel drying along with blow drying is the fastest method. Make sure that the blow dryer is on the cool setting. It may take longer than usual, but it's worth the time because there will be less of a chance your dog's hair and skin will dry out. If your dog is afraid of the sound or sensation of the blow dryer, don't push him. Towel dry him as best as possible and let him air dry somewhere he can't make a mess, like a laundry room. Don't allow the dog out completely wet as the water will cause irritation and dryness if not at least towel dried first. That's all about this subject. For more information and if you have any questions please let me know in comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and like if you like the video. See you guys soon.